Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of the Virgin Mobile Supreme review. Um, if you haven't already watched part one, please go do that for the basics. Alright, so first of all, let's continue with um, apps and games. Um, first of all, I'd like to mention that YouTube runs well in HD. One minute here. Um, HD only works on Wi-Fi and LTE. But when you have HD running, um, it actually looks quite nice on the large display. Um, also, uh, apps in general ran very smoothly, and generally there was no lag at all. And um, again, everything opened quickly, and I was pretty darn satisfied with the performance of that. Alright, now if this is almost done with the ads, I'll give you a quick example. Alright, and you can see it is an HD, and I know you probably can't tell on the screen here, but it is playing, and it looks quite clear, so that's nice. Um, and the big screen makes viewing YouTube videos um, a pleasure. Alright, um, also, this phone came with a link to, and like permissions to run, uh, where did it go, Real Racing 3. And um, when you click it for the first time, it has you, um, it gives you the option of downloading it, and it's about a 750 megabyte file. So you don't have to have it if you don't want it, but um, I did download it to test out. And we will give it a try. I have not tried it yet, but we'll see how it works. Graphics look pretty darn good, I have to admit. Um, yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Touch the screen to break, okay. Alright, yep. Alright, let's go. Let's give it a try. And did it tell me how to go? <laughs> Alright. So here we go. Real Racing 3. And I'm looking at it through the camera, so this is kind of hard. Oh, yep, leaning the device forward, it looks like. Might. Alright, anyways. Um, it looks pretty realistic, and it seems very responsive, so that's good to know. Because this is a big game, um, a big file, and pretty, pretty a lot of 3D graphics in it. So that's nice to know that it runs that well. Um, that's a good sign always. And then also we'll test out Temple Run 2 really quick here. Because that's the usual, right? Alright. I already did this once so we don't have to go through the trial. Again, looking at it through the screen is kind of hard. Or through the camera. Um, it looks nice, graphics look well, uh, look good, and uh, everything seems responsive. It's being pretty quick when I click try again, and um, I don't know, there we go, pause, menu, exit, yep, very fast. So uh, game performance seems really good on this phone. And now let's check out the Quadrant Standard. Here you can see the last test I ran. Um, the device got the top score, which is nice, um, 6,345, that's a pretty darn good score. So, especially for a phone that's $300. So let's run it one more time, looks like it forced quit. Alright. Also, call quality on this device. Um, I tried making a test call, and um, the other person sounded a bit, um, a bit harsh. And turning down the volume didn't make it better. But other than that, the sound quality was good. It just seemed a bit harsh somehow. It 
It's amazing how fast devices these days run through this test. Here we go, we have 6,343 as our score. So not bad, again at the top of the list here. So, that is Quadrant. And now let's do speed test, but I need to turn off the Wi-Fi. I've been using Wi-Fi because as you can see, I really don't get much signal in this building. Okay, and 3G popped up, so let's give it a shot. <sighs> Change server. Um, this phone is having troubles finding GPS in here uh, for some reason. I don't know why other phones uh, have been fine, so I'm not sure why this one can't seem to find a GPS. Maybe if I hold it by the window. Yep. Alright. That seems to work. There we go. And let's begin test. Pretty bad ping. Pretty slow. And I've had this all across the board. It seems like everywhere the speeds seem quite slow on 3G. And I'm not sure if that's just Sprint in this area. I'm guessing it is. Because their 3G network is quite weighed down. And slow and I have done tests in a few other locations as well and not had much better results so I'll show you that here in a second all right here are the other results I got and I do not have LTE here uh, it's supposed to be around here but it, not, it has not showed up and I know it's very weak around here so um, I did not get to test LTE. Here's Wi-Fi here. I guess I only have one other test that shows up in here. I thought I did more than that. But again, 0 0.5, 0 0.04, 0 0.38, 0 0.08. So pretty bad. And um, also, um, I believe the other tests I didn't finish. They were just incredibly slow. So just something to take note of. But that's just Sprint's 3G network in general. If you're in an LTE capable area, you should be fine. All right, well, that is it. Um, overall, this is a good phone if you want a phone with a bigger screen. Uh, five inches is nice to have and makes multimedia like gaming and YouTube and stuff like that very uh, convenient and enjoyable. Um, there aren't really any real issues I had using this phone other than, I mean, the, the unhandy power button location and um, there was no really lag at all and the camera was a bit under par. Other than that, though, this phone was superb, and with the addition of LTE in your area, um, I would get this phone. So, I do recommend this phone if you're looking for something with a higher processor and you know, better processing power and a bigger screen. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, it helps a lot, and like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash funzier1 for more info and updates. And follow me on Twitter at Funzier1. So thanks for watching.